So we'd start off by doing the days of the week for our activities, two starter activities, we'd use the flashcards. So we'd go through them as a flashcard activity, first of all, to reinforce the um, word recognition and the spelling. We'd then hand them out, either in pairs or individually, to, to do an order task, mm-hmm. so they'd get them into order, which we would monitor as we were as they were doing that. We'd then, do, we'd then look at the times, so we'd put, say, one time up as an example. For the, yeah, for this one here. We'd then break this activity down that they could work in pairs. So they could show their partner a time and they'd have to repeat it back to each other, which we would then assess and monitor as they were working on it and use the volunteer or TA if you had one to help you with that monitoring activity. Um, we'd then look at the E3 source, which was this one. We'd use this, we'd have that up on our interactive whiteboard, so we'd see if there was recognition first of all, if, they, if we could elicit that response from them first, it would be the best way of doing it, repeat the pronunciation to the students, then introduce the written vocabulary. Activity would bring um, their own personal opinions into it, yeah. of their own community, yeah. so now that we've introduced these different activities, are they aware of them in their own community? Yeah. Being able to link to their to their real lives, have they ever participated in one of these activities, or would their family or friends be interested in particular activities? Feedback of the yeah, learners yeah. that what they have read in the posters. Yeah. So we'll ask questions that what time is the football club? What's the venue of football club? What's the prize? Yeah. And how long it yeah. is? And um, we would then go through the posters. So we've only got one here, but I know there's more. <laughs> but we <laughs> we would then go through that. So then we would reinforce the days of the week again by doing this poster. And one of the things that we thought might be a nice idea was you could either do it as a previous activity and ask them to bring in posters of things that they do, or you could do it at the end and ask them for homework to go away and get posters to bring back to the next lesson. You could use that as the start of activity for the next lesson. So you could do it either way around. Um, so we then go through these, reinforcing days of the week and times. So you've, you've done that twice in that lesson, so that's a really good mm-hmm. reinforcing activity. Um, time, day of the week, and the cost as well. We brought that one in. Um, to fill it up so they can actually looking at the poster they can write down what day is the computer class what time is the computer class and how much will it cost for the different different activities and for the weaker learner we'll give this one yeah where they can probably circle it out and write down the time and definitely they'll get support from volunteers so that activity they can do